Today is a full body vinyasa practice. It'll move rather slowly, but deeply into the postures, right? Not fast and hard. There's no big jumping today. Um, just some playfulness as usual. Bring our hands to the heart center, lengthening the spine. Grace and reverence in, is the meaning of Anjali Mudra. Grace and reverence for this time together, for technology to bring us together, Set your intention for your practice today. Maybe you'd like to offer up this practice to someone, something, some higher intention. Offer it off the small self. A simple mantra to start our practice. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Three times Shanti, three times peace. Once for ourselves, once for the community and one for the universe. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And then opening the eyes, bring your hands, wrap them around your belly. So the thumbs are in the back and the fingers are around the front. Take a long exhale with me through the nose. Pull the belly button back to the spine. Breathe in through the nose. Shorter, a little bit shorter, about three quarters of that inhale. And then a long exhale. Pull the belly button back to the spine. Good, breathe in. Three more like that. Imagine you're sneezing or blowing your nose. Two more like that. Good. One more like that. Now you have the option to go a little faster or to stay slow like that. All right, we're going to try it for 30 seconds. This is Kapalabhati, skull shining breath. You'd want to go slow if you have any issues with epilepsy, vertigo, get dizzy easily, low blood pressure, sometimes even high blood pressure, anxiety or stress. Go slow and keep it calm. Otherwise, if you need a little more energy this morning, you can go faster. Ready? Breathing in. Not uncommon to feel dizzy after that. As you know, those of you who've practiced this before with me, close your eyes and feel your breath. So you should be expanding as you inhale and contracting as you exhale. This pranayama practice also brings about a lot of heat. So if you already have a lot of heat in your body, Go slow for the next round. Otherwise, join me for a little quicker. Exhaling, pulling the belly button back to the spine. The inhale is short. We almost don't hear it. The exhale is strong. Ready? Relax your hands to your legs, close your eyes, lengthen the spine, and pull in the chin towards the throat. Allow the energy to rise up the spinal column. You've done some great work already for full body practice today. You know the saying, yoga good? We use it a lot at Devana Yoga. Yoga good is that feeling 
that you feel after coming out of your yoga practice or even after a good pranayama practice like we just had. You feel like all systems are go. You come out of your practice and someone says, how was your class? It's really hard to explain. Oh, it was good, it was this, it was bad, it was okay, it was... How do you explain how you feel after yoga practice? We like to say here, I feel yoga good. So enjoy that feeling today through your practice, not just waiting for the end after Shavasana. Feel it throughout the journey today. You might even be feeling it now along the line of your spine from your pranayama. Feeling the energy rising up the spine. One more big breath together. Now start to come into ujjayi breath. So slight constriction in the throat on the inhale and the exhale. Make the sound of your breath. Remember ujjayi, we can hear it. Tongue comes up to the roof of the palate and the tip of the tongue is just behind the teeth. Ujjayi breath sounds like the waves coming and going. I actually, I'll tell you a secret. I think it sounds more like my tea kettle, my electric tea kettle. But if I say that, then I start thinking about tea. I start thinking peppermint. <laughs> so I would stick with the waves. Now see if you can keep that beautiful breath. It will slow down your breath. It warms up the system and it helps you to be a little mindful of getting a long breath in. It helps to remind you when your breath is too short because you can hear it, right? All right, so what we're going to do next is open your eyes and we're going to come with our head at the end of our mat. I know some of you don't use a mat, so just put the, your head where, the, um, where your feet would normally go, okay? And we're going to put our block to the side because we're going to need it. We're going to start warming up our bodies, laying on our backs, keeping your ujjayi breath. Listening to that beautiful breath. Trying to even feel yoga good in this pose. Feel how nice it feels to have your heels connecting to the earth, your glutes, your back, your hands. And you can hear your breath. Try to make the inhale as long as the exhale. Relax legs to start. One more ujjayi breath. Now slowly lift your right leg, bring in your right knee. Pull it in nice and close. You can have your hand on your shin or your hands behind your thigh if you can't reach to the shin. If your knees are a little achy this morning or don't have a lot of flexion, just pull in, holding onto the back of the thigh. And opening the eyes, take your right leg over to the left. Extend your right arm long for a twist. Gaze to the right. Keep your ujjayi breath. Try to make it equal. Remember Krishnamacharya said, you can never become bored in your practice. You always have your breath to listen to, to go back to. It's the barometer of your practice. Nice, now bring the right leg back in and let it go. Take your left leg in, just three breaths. Start to let your right leg get active. Keep your ujjayi breath, chin towards your throat. Good. Belly button is pressing towards the floor. One more breath. And then cross your left leg over to the right. 
and extend your left arm long, gazing left, opening through the chest, giving a beautiful twist through the spine. Mm. One left. And then bring the head back to the center, left leg back to the center. Grab a hold of your block, bend your knees, soles of the feet on the floor. Put your block between your thighs and lift your legs. Pull the legs in. Let's have a nice stretch. Squeeze the block and lift your upper body and reach your hands towards your heels. We're staying safe, keeping the belly are keeping the back on the floor. It's just a little core awareness. Lower the shoulders from the ears, pull your belly button down to the spine as if you were practicing Kapalabhati with me. Keep your Ujjayi breath. Two more breaths. One more breath. Now lower the soles of the feet to the floor. Keep squeezing the block and reach your arms overhead. Inhale, lift your bottom off the floor. And exhale, hands come down towards your heels as your bottom rolls down to the floor. Good, inhale, lift bottom and hands. This is a rolling back bend to get us started, a gentle one to become aware of the inner legs, Mula Bandha. Exhale down. Inhale, rise. Use your toes, use the ball of your foot. Exhale down. All right. Three more like that on your own. Keep rolling. Try to time when your hands come down, make it the same time that your bottom comes down. And a little more awareness here, all the way down on the floor. Hands are close to the feet. Lift just your right leg, squeezing the block. Pull your belly button down to the floor. Pull pubic bone towards navel. Turn your palms up to the sky. Roll your shoulders open, chin towards the throat. Really try to press the belly button to the floor. Great place for core awareness. Squeeze the block. So much going on here. Press to the right heel. Keep your ujjayi breath. Take one more breath. And release the right foot to the floor. Ah. Now lift the left leg, squeeze the block, press belly button down to the floor. Try to curve the low back, scooping the tailbone towards your right heel. Even towards your left heel, press the left heel long in front of you. We're on breath two of five. Make sure your chin stays towards your throat. Long neck. We're working on our beautiful posture here. This is a journey to great posture. Mula Bandha engaged, pelvic floor is active so as you squeeze the block. One more breath. Well done. Bring the left foot down and release the block. Liberate that block and come and liberate yourself in happy baby. Rock side to side, hands to the outer feet. Yeah, I think yoga good too, for me, feels like liberation. Feels like freedom. The whole body is happy, my mind is clear. 
I can focus on what really matters in my day and not get cut up, caught up in all the small stuff. And now stay in happy baby, pressing your heels, I'm mean, sorry, your knees towards your armpits. Five breaths, ujjayi breaths. Low back pressing to the floor. What a really great feeling back today. So if someone said to you, how did your yoga practice go today? You could say, my back feels yoga good. Good, one more breath. And release your hands, but keep your knees bent. We're going to rock up into malasana, into a beautiful garland pose. So roll your feet back, bottom lifts, and come up. Maybe you have to use your hands Good to malasana. Now maybe you won't go too low, and maybe you'd like to use your block to sit on. That's perfectly fine too. So this is malasana. This is malasana, right? Tailbone goes down, the collarbones lift, Heart is lifted, elbows are on the insides of the legs, pressing the legs apart. And at the same time, I want you to squeeze your knees in towards your elbows. Take five more breaths from here. Good, try to lower your sits bones and lift your collarbones. So it's trying to get as straight of a back as you can. One more breath. And try to stand straight up from here. Inhale, rise. If you have to use your hands, that's fine too. And bring your feet together. And voila, we're at the front of our mats. So step forward for Surya Namaskar C. So we're gonna spread the toes, big toes together, heels are slightly apart. Cross your thumbs, it doesn't matter which one's on top. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the hands. Gaze up and back. Exhale, you can bend your knees, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right foot far behind. Exhale, left foot back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down front. <clears throat> Inhale to plank pose, Halakasana. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra, pull the elbows in, lift just your heart. Your ribs, if you can, keep the pubic bone on the floor. Exhale, downward facing up. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Feel that beautiful stretch of the inner thighs. Good, try not to lift your leg and swing it. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Cross the thumbs, reach up. Try to use your core strength to set your legs forward. Exhale, forward fold. Knees bent or straight. Good. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, right, down dog. Belly's in nice and strong. Inhale to a plank, option to lower the knees now, or stay in your plank. And then exhale, pull your elbows in, knees, chest, and chin, bottoms high. Inhale, drop the pubic bone towards the floor as you lift. Keep your elbows in nice and close, tops of the feet are on the floor. Good. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, right. Cross your thumbs, reach up. One more round, right side, left side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left. Down, down. Inhale to plank. So we really want to make sure we get that dog before the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Cobra, exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left. Cross the thumbs, reach up nice and high. Straight arms, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, right. Downward facing dog. Inhale, two plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, right. Cross the thumbs, reach your heart high. And exhale, samastiktihi. Inhale, reach your arms out to the sides and up to the sky. Utita hastasana. Bend your knees, forward fold, hands reach the floor. Inhale, just lift the head. Exhale, walk the feet back. Now you have a choice here. Inhale to plank, knees, chest, and chin, or take your shoulders forward a little more and bring yourself into Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, forward of the mukha. Exhale to downward facing dog. So we're gonna lift our right leg high. We're in our vinyasa sequences now. Lift your right leg high into Agavrishika, bringing your right heel towards your left glute. Look under your right arm for five ujjayi breaths. Keep breathing. Good. Keep reaching the leg up as high as you can. Take your knee to the sky. That looks good. Look under the arm. And then bring, close the hip, look forward and try not to slide your foot forward on the mat, but bring your foot and place it between your hands. And we're in a low lunge or kapiyasana. Bring your arms either in cactus, out to the sides, up to the sky, or palms together behind the head, arms behind the head, five ujjayi breaths. One more breath. Now release your hands, grab a hold of your block. Got your block nearby? We're gonna turn to our side, take your left foot behind your knee. So you see how I did that? I had my foot behind, I bent the left knee and brought the left foot behind the knee. Yeah, good. Reach the left arm up and over. This is side angle pose, then the modified version. But we're still going to work on the action of this posture. So press your arm down firmly into the leg and lift through your left side. This is option one. This is option two. You can also use your block if you'd like. Hand on the inside. Option three, take a bump. And here we begin. Turn your gaze up if you can. Keep your left shoulder open. Two more breaths. One more breath. And release the arms. And you're gonna take your block in your left hand. Bring it long out from the left knee. Reach your right arm up and over. Point the right toes away from the midline. Turn your gaze high. It's like trikonasana. A little lighter version today. Keep your legs really active. Mula bandha's engaged bellies in and up. Udiyama bandha. Let your hips hold you here, active hips, active legs. One more breath. Now gazing forward, take your right arm to the sky 
and lift your right leg. This is like Ardha Chandrasana. Option to stay here, gaze up if you can towards your hand, or you can even bind. Three more breaths. One more breath. Good, keep pressing the foot into the hand if you're binding. And release gently and turn back to put your block down, put turn back towards the front of your mat. Left foot comes behind the hip again and step your right foot back. Be conscious not to slide it back down dog. Your choice, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. So you can come into play and take knees, chest, and chin, and go a little further, bend the elbows, and rise to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna try the same thing on the other side. This time I'll be turned away from you. Lift your left leg high, bend the knee. Looking under the left arm. Lift your left knee a little bit higher. Yes, really looking under the left arm. So your shoulders can twist, but try not to let your heel, your right heel twist. One more breath. Now, untwist the hips, square your hips, look forward and really try to pull the knee into the nose. Remember all that four awareness at the beginning. Here's where it's gonna pay off. Step it down to the floor without sliding it. You choose your kapiyasana. Arms here, crescent moon lunge, some call it. Arms can be behind the ears. Really give it your all. Don't do a halfway pose, right? Two more beautiful ujjayi breaths. Really enjoy those long, slow breaths. All right, now bring your hands down, find your block. And we're going to turn to the right. And as we turn our torso to the right, the right foot becomes, comes behind the knee. You can put your block down on the inside of your left foot for Parsvakonasana modification today. You can have your arm on the thigh, or you can take your hands behind your back and find a bind, but keep your right shoulder open. So find your posture, set your foundation, check in with your breath, and then set your drishti. The drishti is up. There, that's it. One more breath. All right, and coming back to a neutral spine, take your block over to the right. Take your left toes, turn them away from the midline, reach your left arm up and over. Trikonasana, try to turn your left, or try to turn your gaze to the sky. But keep your left hip facing the side of the mat. Yeah, that's the stretch. Gazing up if you can. Yep. One more breath. Now turn your gaze directly in front of you. Lift the left leg. Option to stay here or bend the knee and reach for the foot. You're holding on to the inside of the arch if you do. Set the foundation, put the right foot firmly on the floor. Right hand is active, arm is active. Check in with your breath and then gaze up. Four more breaths. Active arms, open chest. Positive about this beautiful journey of feeling yoga good today.
One more breath. All right, and step the leg down and turn back to the front of your mat and downward facing dog. You choose how you would like to transition out of this, but I'm gonna challenge you, too bad I can't hear you, to step the foot back. Inhale to plank. Knee, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Bend your elbows a little, not a lot. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior two, right foot. Inhale, step your foot in between your hands. Open the back foot 90 degrees. Warrior two, beautiful. Gaze over your right middle finger. Pull in your belly, pubic bone to navel. That's it. Really turn your torso to the side. Two more breaths. One more breath. We're coming into our balance pose on this side. So exhale, bring your right hand down on the right side of your foot. You're gonna frame your foot with your hands. Left hand down, turn your left heel high and try and either one hop or hop your left foot forward a little more to come into standing splits. Lifting the left leg as much as you can. Try to keep your hands by your foot. Try to kiss your knee. Plays a big part in this yoga journey. Good. Now lifting your head, you can walk your hands a little further forward. And then exhale, bend your right knee and your left knee. Can you see how I'm doing that? Bend them down like you're gonna sit down. And you're gonna feel this in your Achilles of your right leg and your calf muscle. Good, inhale, lift up. You have three times to bend down. Exhale, bend down. As long as you can, one more. Exhale, come down. Now, here comes the fun part, the playful part. See if you can take one hand to your heart. Two hands to your heart. Breathe. Ujjayi breath. Two more breaths, keep trying. Looking good, everybody. You can put your toe on the floor if you'd like. Put your left toe on the floor if you need. Good, and come back to that gorgeous vertical split and walk or jump back. So if you wanna jump back, you swing the left leg and take the right foot back or walk back. You choose plank pose, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Let's take three breaths here just to have a little breather. Two more Ujjayi breaths. One more breath. And we're going to try warrior two on the left side. So look forward, step the left foot in between the hands. Open the right foot 90 degrees and cartwheel your arms up. Warrior two, try to make it a nice long one. Pull the shoulder blades together. Gaze over your left middle finger. Make sure your arms are of equal height. All right, don't let your shoulders be in front of your hips. That's it. Make sure the knee is bent just over the ankle. Yeah, one more breath. And exhale, left hand comes down, right hand comes down, right heel comes high. So try it in one hop, use your core, or hop up the right foot forward a few times if you need. <laughs> kind of like a hero pose, getting that foot up there. All right, kiss your knee. Hips are still closed or square. Now we're gonna inhale, lift our head. Walk your hands forward a little bit for more support. Lift your heart, good. Exhale, bend your left knee and your right knee. Almost like you're gonna bring your right knee down to the floor on the outside of the left foot. Get as close as you can. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. Look forward. 
Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. And we're going to try to stay. So options are bring this toe to the floor if you need, or keep it lifted. Find your balance, five breaths. One more breath. And <laughs> lift the right leg up high. I promise we'll stretch out our hips today. Now, looking forward, you have the choice. Walk back gentle or swing your right leg up and take your left leg back and be a little silly. Inhale to a plank or chaturanga. Knees, chest, and chin if you'd like. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the right foot behind your left hand for pigeons or Ikapadaraja Kapotasana. Right knee comes behind right hand. Grab your block if you need. You might want to put it under the right hip. Okay, and so that you can square your hips forward. So if your left leg is open, then you could use a block. So either your hip is on the floor or on a block. Take your right hip and make it in one straight line with your right knee. And that thigh bone should be parallel to the edge of the mat. Now make sure that your left leg, your back leg there, one that's long, is internally rotated. This is a asymmetrical hip opening, so it's a little trickier. And make sure the top of the foot is on the floor and the foot is behind the hip and not over there in left field. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, option to walk your hands all the way forward. Go as far forward as feels good to you. Pull your chin in towards your throat and begin five ujjayi breaths. One more big slow breath. And inhale, lift the head, walking the hands back. Take your right leg back, stretch it up. Oh, and release. Now take the left foot behind right hand. Left knee behind left hand. And slide your right leg back. Again, be really conscious that the femur is parallel to the edge of the mat. That'll make your knee act as a hinge joint and keep your knee really happy along not only your yoga journey, but your life journey. Turn your right thigh inward. So turn it towards the floor, square your hips. Left shin bone as close to parallel to the front of the mat as feels good for you, right? Your heel could even be in towards a groin. Groin, that's fine too. It's more important that the hips are square than it is that the shin bone is parallel to the front of the mat. Your heart lead the way, walk it forward. Oh, hello, left hip. Four more ujjayi breaths. Trying to bring the right hip bone down towards the floor, rolling the left hip back. Three more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, lift the heart, head, walk your hands back. Whoa. And take the left leg back, but knees down, chest and chin. Inhale to a small cobra, hands by the chest, pull your elbows in, lift your heart. And in this cobra, in this Bhujangasana, we're going to look far right. Try to see your right toes. Just two more breaths. Looking right only. 
If you have any back pain, come down, go lower, look left now, slow and patient. Keep your left sit, keep your left hip bone on the floor. Look at the left foot. Good. Keep breathing. Pubic bone stays on the floor. And then gently come down. Great warm up for Ardha Dhanurasana. Forehead is down. Right hand comes to right front of foot or ankle. Left arm reaches forward. So we're going to lift everything off the floor, but the left foot and pubic bone, right? So inhale, lift your right leg. Lift your heart, lift your left hand. Try to keep your legs close together so knees are not splaying apart. Three more breaths. Try to lift a little bit higher if you can. Good. Thigh comes off floor. Lift your ribs a little more. The more you give, the more you'll receive and release. Now take your right arm forward, reach your left hand back for your left ankle. Let's lift through the upper body first. Inhale, hand, just then left leg. Do unto your asana as you want it to do unto you. Lift a little higher. If you want more energy, give more energy. Upper right foot is pressing firmly, happily into the floor. Two more breaths. One more breath and release. Rock your hips a little side to side. You can have your hands under your forehead. One more delicious back bend before neutralizing. It's kind of the peak back bend that we've been working towards. We're gonna bend the knees. Make sure your knees don't come wider than your hips. If you wanna use your block between your thighs, you can. Reach your right hand for your front of your foot, left hand for front of foot. Maybe you stay here. Or lift the heart, chest first, upper body lifts first, and then lift the thighs off the floor. And release this pose. Let it go. Hands by your chest. Inhale to a little cobra, not too high. And then exhale to a child's pose. Stretch by walking your, taking your bottom towards your heels and then walk your hands far right. Neutralizing the spine. Five breaths here. And then back to the center with your hands and slowly walk your hands left. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Two more breaths. One more breath. Then walk your hands back to the center and bring your hands under your shoulders. We're gonna practice a little cat cow to neutralize, make the spine happy, drop the belly, lift the head, inhale, five breaths. 
Exhale, round everything, even into the low back. Look into your navel. Squeeze your belly button up to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Toes down, lift the knees, option one, downward facing dog. Anytime your head is lower than your heart, you're on an inversion. You can shake out your head here, it feels good. Or you can come into dolphin, bring your elbows down. If you're feeling frisky, you can even lift a leg, pinch my urasana. You can stay here with me today, nice dolphin. And then bring the knees down to the floor and bring your bottom back towards your heels. Nice little forward fold here. Forehead to the floor, long arms in front of you. And inhale, lifting the head, finding your way to Shavasana. Without using your hands, we'll practice three rounds of alternate nostril breathing. So just using your mind, inhale only left nostril. Without using your hands, exhale right nostril. Inhale right. Exhale left. Balancing subtle energy. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Now let go of the breath. Nothing to do with the breath. Become the watcher. The watcher of the breath. As it comes in and goes out. I'm reading to you today from John Mundal. Called the man with the funny yoga mat. Once a man came to my yoga class. The first day he walked up to me and said, I need exercise. Will I get that here? Yes, I said. Yoga is exercise. He was blunt and direct and walked away. 
I watched him spread out his yoga mat, but I could see that the mat would not lie flat. The edges were curled up. The next week he came to me and said, I'm sleeping better, but I don't want to give up ice cream. That's fine, I said. He walked away and I watched him spread out his yoga mat. The edges were still curled up, but I could see that his mat was trying to lie flat. The next week he came, but he was very quiet. He only spoke to me after class. What is this anyway? What is what I asked? Yoga. It's what you want it to be, I said. He was puzzled, but curious. And I watched him walk out the door, yoga mat under his arm. The next week he came and said, I'm losing some of this. He shook his belly a bit and I laughed for the first time. That's good, I said. He spread out his yoga mat and I could see that the edges were starting to lie flat. On the last day of class, he came up to me with a soft face. There was a beautiful sunset last night. Did you see it, he said. Yes, I said, I saw it. And then he walked away to a quiet corner of the classroom and he spread out his yoga mat and the edges were flat and his yoga mat lies flat. Yoga is our natural state. We just have to rediscover it. We had it as children. We may have lost it as we grew up and took on the world. There's anywhere in your body you haven't released tension yet. Please do that now. Take a big exhale and release tension. And anywhere that your body is still holding on. Noticing how good your body feels right now. Yoga mats lying flat. Practice in. Giving what you hope to receive from your practice, of course, no attachment to the outcome. Start to make small movements in the body, fingers and toes. Then turn your head right and head left. Take your time. Okay. 
And any other stretches that feel good to you? When you're ready, bending your knees in towards your chest and rolling onto your right side. Bring your right arm under your ear and turn your nose down. And gently place your left hand on the floor in front of your heart and slowly bring yourself up. Let your head come up last. Very slowly coming up last. Don't be in a rush to turn around. Take your time. Whole body feeling a little more vibrant. Mind is clear. Ready for the day or the evening, hands to the heart center. Grace and reverence for our time together today. The journey towards feeling yoga great today. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. It's been an honor to lead your practice. Thank you. Om Shanti.